little more every single time. Cheap fake tan, middle-aged man. <laughs> Lycra shorts, impure thoughts. It's easy to gauge, he's twice their age. His fitness credo, act like a pedo. See you next time. Keep our words near. A total teen fitness achieves its goal in getting American teenagers off the sofa, though only to eject the tape. Welcome back to this Help Yourself special, looking at videos designed for couples and partners. And, of course, for some people, the opposite sex are a bit like video recorders. They're a complete mystery, but if you push enough buttons, you might get lucky. <laughs> well, in the halcyon days before self-help videos were invented, instructional films tended to be shown mainly to schools or the armed forces. And at the height of the Cold War, as communism and the nuclear war threatened the West, the US Navy drilled its men on the most vital military skills. This film is officially classified as rubbish. Make it easy for her to slip into her coat. Hold it at the right height. That's being thoughtful. Watch the hair. If you muss it, you're going to lose points. Though not as many points as you'll lose for using the word muss. <laughs> so you've helped her on with her coat. What next? She'll expect you to help her off with her coat and arrange it over the back of her chair so it's not all over the floor. Check the menu with your date. And if you have any knowledge about the specialties of the house or no particularly good dishes, let her in on it. But once you have both decided, you do the ordering. Right. It's her decision on where to sit, not yours. If you want to make a good impression, be considerate of the other person. Adjust your preferences to her. <laughs> and if you feel you must nibble on something during the show, at least do it quietly, out of consideration for your neighbours. Unless, of course, it's one of your neighbours you happen to be nibbling on. <laughs> uh, but to be fair to the US Navy, they did actually train their recruits to deal with considerably more than just brunettes. This is a story about a blonde. A good-looking blonde. A young midshipman, we'll call him Charlie, who would very much like to know the blonde better. Much better. And another young man, let's call him Jack, who also prefers this particular blonde. Sounds like the beginning of a very bad porn film. Uh, sadly, though, it isn't. It's another very bad dating etiquette guide, starting with how to impress at a dinner party. Bread and rolls are broken in half and then into smaller pieces. You butter each piece of bread before eating. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> hey, this Jack is really on the ball, isn't he? So, the US Navy considers someone really on the ball if they know how to butter a bread roll, which is almost as frightening as this. A finger bowl will be served following the dinner. Don't drink it. Simply dip your fingers in it. Then, dry them with your napkin. So these people are in charge of launching nuclear missiles and they have to be told not to drink a finger bowl. <laughs> we'll spare you the rather graphic sequence in which Charlie is taught the difference between his ass and his elbow. <laughs> so there we have it, blondes prefer gentlemen, as indeed do most naval officers. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, any man once in a relationship will know how long a woman takes to get dressed and made up and when she's likely to be ready, generally about half an hour after the taxi arrives. Uh, but now, help is at hand with this. How to select the perfect fashion accessories. As you can see, uh, this presentation covers a 16-hour course in 30 minutes. And you'll be relieved to learn that we'll be covering the 30-minute video in about 90 seconds, <laughs> which is a minute and a half longer than it's worth. Hi, I'm Loretta Hamilton. During this program, I will assist you in learning how to use the elements and principles of visual design. Already we can see Loretta's first tip, wear a simple pearl necklace to distract attention from your total lack of charisma. <laughs> uh, Loretta's aim is to give you some top accessorizing tips according to what kind of woman you are. I will now show you a revolutionary technique 
for communicating your individuality with your accessories using visual design elements and principles so that your beauty and personal style can shine in a way they have never before. <laughs> to communicate your individuality, we begin by discovering your exterior and interior design. Artists often celebrate finding these elements in the most ordinary of objects. Wear accessories that repeat the line qualities found in these facial features. For example, Gloria has prominent, well-defined diagonal design lines created by her diamond face shape. Gloria has repeated these diagonal design lines only relate to the diagonal design lines of her face shape. They also relate to the diagonal design lines. So let's see if she does any better with some simple recommendations for luxury items. As an artist, Nancy's lifestyle is rather casual. For a special guy showing up her work, this elegant look serves her well. Nancy lets her artistic spirit show through in the choice of her accessories. She has a pension for antique silver markets. So there you are, Loretta Hamilton, showing us what to wear. In the case of this video, a stunned and bemused expression as to how it ever got made. And remember, almost all accessories have more than one use. Oil them up and then rub them together. Well, many couples meet at work. Richard and Judy, Sienna and Jude, Ant and Deck. But if you, want to, <laughs> if you want to emulate them, you need to get a job. And before you can get that, you need to get this. As a preliminary matter, let's examine the psychology behind the interview process. Yes, we're about to see how to behave in a job interview and how not to behave in a job interview. I wonder if you can guess which one this is. Come in. Mr. Rutherford, glad to meet you. Uh, take a seat, please. I don't believe I have your resume available. Uh, do you have a copy? Mm, no, I didn't bring any. Uh, I thought you would have one. Tell me, Mr. Uh, oh, what is your name? Michael. I meant your last name. Peters. Just uh, plain old Peters. Yes, that was how to behave in a job interview if you want to remain on welfare benefit. Uh, so how can Mr. Plain Old Peters improve his interview technique? Apparently, it's all to do with poise. Essentially, what we mean by poise is the way in which you conduct yourself. Confidence, grace, maturity and articulateness are all a part of poise. So that's confidence, grace, maturity and articulateness. Or articulacy, to be more articulate. <laughs> And, of course, there's the subtle art of handshaking. Shaking hands should be one smooth motion. Yes, a handshake tells all. This says, I'd like the job. This says, I'm confident of getting the job. And this says, for Christ's sake, give us the bloody job. I'm desperate. <laughs> but what to say when it's your turn to speak? Make your voice range up and down five to ten minutes a day. Take a look at Peters to see what we mean. I am a good speaker because I do this all the time. Peters did subsequently secure a job as Stephen Hawking's voice box. <laughs> so, time to rerun that interview, putting all that Peters has learnt into practice. I don't seem to have your resume in front of me. Here you are, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Could you tell me about your academic background? Sure. I went to community college and did extremely well there. While at school, I took a wide variety of courses as electives, including political science, sociology, foreign language, accounting, and business law. Taking this diversified curriculum... Oh, shut the f*** up. <laughs> Viewers may be pleased to know that Peters did join the company, although the rest of the workforce left immediately. <laughs> Well, that's all from us right now and our special couples edition of Help Yourself in which we've learned what will guarantee you find a partner. Do you like fettuccine? Or what will guarantee you stay single. I am a good speaker. And if all else fails, then you'll know how this guy feels. Good night. Got no fear. No steroids here. One more time. 
couldn't find a rhyme. <laughs> Keep on moving. A little faster. It's your body. You're the master. Go do it. Way to go. <laughs>